For more on that story, I'm now joined on the phone by Nikolai Slobin, director of the Russian Asian Studies Center for Defense Information in Washington, D.C. Uh, Mr. Slobin, welcome to the program. Here we have a Sir Parliament within the newly independent Kosovo. Is there any place for institutions like this in Kosovo's constitution or political system? Uh, I don't think so. Basically, Russia uh, raising a very legitimate question about uh, international law, how it's comply with international law. If it, if it doesn't comply with international law, how we can go ahead and uh, recognize independence of uh, Kosovo. And if there is no inter in international law, then it's open door for so many uh, potential violations. And uh, I think Russia will oppose it very heavily. Now, I'm sure Kosovo Serbs will not easily go back on their decision to, to form their own parliament. Do you think there will finally be a compromise with the government, and will the legislations of, of this new parliament carry any weight in Kosovo politics? Well, I think compromise must be found, otherwise we can face a new uh, wave of hostility in Kosovo. And the question is, uh, what the basis for this compromise? And very often the compromise comes uh, with money, uh, with uh, political uh, freedom, political compromise, and uh, how much basically uh, political flexibility will have uh, uh, people in Kosovo, how much political uh, flexibility will help will have uh, Serbs in Kosovo, and how much money European Union is able to uh, uh you know to give to to give to kosovo and to serbs in kosovo particularly uh to be sure that they will have uh, they will have no feeling uh, left alone now uh, let's turn to russia's latest threat to stop um, all military and space contracts with ukraine in 